Actually, I'm not sure if I could pick you up because there's a, a loud uh, sound system here ahead of uh, the leader of the economic freedom fighter, Julius Malema's arrival in Kayamandi in Stellenbosch. And like I put it to you earlier on, this is a DA stronghold. And even looking at the statistics for the uh, 2016 municipal elections, it's clear that the Democratic Alliance has been leading for several years in this particular small town. Trailing behind is the Freedom Front Plus, as well as uh, the other uh, political parties like the ANC and the EFF, who got uh, just 1% uh, in the 2016 municipal elections. Now I'm joined by Godrich uh, Gadi, who is no stranger to the Western Cape and the issues that the people of the Western Cape have been raising with the party over the last couple of years. What have you picked up to be one of the unique problems of this particular province, which Julius Malema will hear about when he addresses the crowd here in Kayamandi? Thank you, Sister uh, Ati. The problem in the Western Cape, which we have picked up when we were doing door-to-door, -door, conversing our people to vote the EFF, they are not happy with the way the DA-led municipalities are treating them. You go to Kailicha, you go to Kayamnandi, you go to Kukule, to Langa, they are crying for uh, flushing toilets, not this porta porta, not this pit latrines, not this kind of mobile toilets that they are being subjected to. There's a lot of uh, sewage, spillage, and drain blockages that we find everywhere we go uh, talking to our people. We uh, think we, we we think that as a EFF we need to be in power in these municipalities of the Western Cape to address the problems of our people, more especially the issue of restoring their dignity. Uh, Kayamandi is one of those uh, townships which was birthed in the 1950s during the apartheid regime where it was exclusively built just for those black male laborers who were here to work around the farms. Now there's an influx of people coming from different parts of the country and the continent coming into Kayamandi and therefore growing the population of the people here. How would you then as the EFF address issues of of land and housing considering how many people have now started to come and live here there's abundance of uh, uh, land here in the eastern in the western cape in particular uh, the, the cape metro and the stellenbosch the home of the rupets the white monopoly capital our people need to expropriate the land without compensation. We need a bold government that will address uh, the restoration of the dignity of our people through provision of land. You can look over there. That is land, but our people are cramped up there at Azania. We need to release that land. We need to build decent houses of about two, three story uh, a, a, a set of um, uh, uh, houses for our people, flats, so that we we can maximize the use of uh, space and land, but there's uh, quite a lot of land that is available, which are in the hands of the Rupert and the Rothschilds, here in particular at uh, Stellenbosch. Would you then encourage land occupation like we've seen around the townships in the metro, the massive land occupation where people literally started moving onto vacant pieces of land, erecting homes, and subsequently the provincial legislator complaining that most of its budget had to be spent on trying to quell the rampant land uh, occupation, which it deems, of course, as illegal. What would you encourage in this part of uh, Kayamandi if you deem the municipality to not be able to render pieces of land which you are pointing to? The municipality of uh, Stellenbosch has got a responsibility to ensure that massive pieces of land that are available are made accessible to our people here which whatever we have seen in Zimbabwe, in Kailicha, in Cape Metro, and throughout South Africa, it's actually a, a, a breakfast or a lunch. The real picnic is yet to come, and our people will definitely expropriate the land.
without compensation. So to make it orderly, we need the support of every other person in South Africa for the uh, uh, amendment of the Section 25 uh, 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 clause of the Constitution. I see you've got a hotline there. Someone is calling you. I'm sure you're arranging for the arrival of the CIC. Godish Gadi, thank you so much for your time. We'll leave it there for now. Dudu, I am struggling to get audio from you, but as we conclude this interview then, I want my colleague to show you the number of people who have already gathered in anticipation of the arrival of the leader of the EFF here in Kayamandi. He is a stranger to this community, and many of them saying that they'll be seeing him for the first time, and they'll be raising issues around housing and unemployment, because most of the people here, the population, is mostly uh, the youth. I will leave it there for now. Back to you, Dudu, in studio.